All right. There we go. We'll let him turn our sky show. And with this, um, the color wise, it's gonna be kind of like a lighter cream color. And at first, I'll get the large round brush again. So, oh, once again, you remember, uh, you always want to start with the larger brush. Let me get those things going. All right, this is once again, how to blend skies. If you're struggling with skies, I recommend watching this. Or you're about ready to start, but you're nervous, same kind of thing. Okay, so with this, I'll come in here. Big blob of white. I'll put the, even though it's not gonna be white eventually, it's gonna be kind of cream color. Um, I'm putting the paint on down here at the bottom. Don't put your paint on the top. Um, so you wanna go right on the bottom, pure white. Then you're gonna start changing the color a little bit. I'll add a little tap of this color, get it more, and this is uh, yellow ochre. So this will be like a yellow ochre kind of uh, sky. And eventually, um, I'll blend it out here. So this is using a scumbling technique. And then I went, went a little bit too fast. I'm gonna go back in, go a little slower, and blend it out. This is all layer one. And then up here, I'll go a little bit darker. And then once again, with my stroke, I'm laying the brush down like this, plopping it down, and I just barely pick it up and scumble. And even if you're painting this guy and you're doing okay, you might want to watch over with one eyeball on this thing so you kind of see, like, speed-wise even, um, how it's, if you follow these tricks or these techniques, it'll look pretty darn good pretty fast. All right, so I'm starting to get this kind of bend going on here. And eventually I'll use burnt sienna. Oh, I love burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is kind of a magical color. All right, in the middle here, I'll even go lighter. This is gonna be where the light is for the turner. Then he goes darker on the sides. So I'll take white, put a little white in there, and scrub using small strokes. This is about the actual speed you should go. It's right about here. This is student speed. All little strokes. They didn't even like the colors, still change it. A little more of the yellow ochre in there. <clears throat> and then anytime you see a bad transition, go back into it. And then notice how I'm skipping around now. So I have this um, little glow thing going around it. And then I'll come over here. Now I'm gonna add in a little uh, raw, <clears throat> uh, I have a little raw sienna. So yellow ochre and then raw sienna is a little more on the brown side. <clears throat> so you can kind of see that. Move the camera. There we go. All right, so I got this little hump of uh, raw sienna in there. And once again, you don't want to get rid of all your big brush strokes. So if you have big brush strokes, you just got to hide them by going a little smaller ones later on. And here, a little strip. Now I'll come back down, pure white. Bam, right there in the bottom. And I'll blend that up. And once again, this is... Now I'm going back to more magic show speed just so I can get this thing done. A sky like this should take you a couple days. <clears throat> and then, uh, but I just want to show you the whole kit and caboodle. Nice and light, so it's a very different color. It's not blue, but it doesn't matter the color though. So if you are on a blue sky or a purple sky, um, all the same rules apply. Starting down kind of dark. And if you have like a lot of dark paint on your brush, like right now I'm noticing I'm a little bit too much dark paint. So I'm just gonna wash it off, paper towel. I'll like wipe it off. Now I'll go back to my pure white, put that down there and that'll get me a nice lighter color in there. And it still has some paint on it. So there's still some color there. And then I'll haze that up in there. And uh, so this is William Turner color. These are not William Turner brush strokes yet. That comes later. <clears throat> All right. And so now I'm going through and I'm like kind of fixing areas that are kind of messy. <clears throat> right now we still have to go in uh, light to dark. I'll use more of the uh, yellow ochre up there. Kind of looks like baby crap, <clears throat> but it's okay. And that's really almost like a mustard. Then to get these to blend together, if it's too dark, like right here at this transition, it's kind of fugly looking. I'll dip it into more of a pure white and go over that using a scumbling technique. And then be picky, like you should stop every once in a while. It's like stop, go back and look at it, go how the transition's going. Right here, you can see this little bend. 
that I'm gonna get rid of. All right, more yellow ochre. Put over there. Oh, raw sienna. And wait until you see the uh, burnt sienna put in here. Ooh, that's exciting. I love burnt sienna. That might be my favorite color. I think when I die, I'm gonna uh, get cremated. I'm gonna write a letter to, uh, before I die, to Windsor Newton and ask them if they put my ashes in a, a batch of burnt sienna paint. That'd be magical. Imagine being on people's canvases, living in art. Okay, so now I'm going over there. I don't know if that'd be legal though. Anyhow, so this is kind of like a dark strip right here. So I'm gonna go back in with lighter paint. Haze it out, small scumbling strokes. Looking back nice and far on the brush though. Now I'm starting getting rid of that. So if you have a bad transition, now it's a lot better. Now I'll come over here, a little more of the raw sienna and a little bit of yellow ochre. I think, now you guys are young, this is a lot of your first acrylic paintings. I don't know if I should show you this, just because of your uh, inexperience, but I'm going to. I know it's a family show, but I'm gonna show you burnt sienna. Oh man, I love that burnt sienna. Burnt sienna, just put a little dot of it, like right there. And then burnt sienna, I'll like put a little bit on there and it warms it up. It's really nice. And for sunsets, burnt sienna. <laughs> oh, don't get me started. Now I'll go pure white, blend that out. A little bit here, still have some burnt sienna on there. If you have a patch, like right here, I have a patch, right? So a lot of you guys probably experience this like little patch phenomenon. So all you have to do to get rid of the patch is come in here. And if you guys want, you guys, uh, you guys that are here, here, you guys come over here if you want to see it a little closer. Maybe it makes more sense. And so you can see it live. Yeah, might want to jam over here real quick. All right, so you can see the brush strokes. On the lens, it's okay, but this is a little more, makes more sense. So see how like, that's flat, I pick it up, and then I scrub. Uh -huh. And so it doesn't really take all that long. So all this has been done since the demonstration started. And then here, I'll start again with a pure white. Put the pure white on there, kind of thick. And then what you can't really see on that screen. And then uh, coming over here, this is a lot of white. I'll like scoop it up and get it to run over there real quick. And then uh, when you scrub, it's not like circle patterns. It's not back and forth. It's just sort of like a random star pattern. Kind of like when we did the skies in graphite, where it'd be like a star pattern. Now, even though I like that color, I gotta change it though, because you gotta change color all the time. Now I'll go a little bit more of the yellow ochre. I'm gonna have the highlight right here though, so I'm gonna lighten that up even more. Stumble, and it's easy to get stuck into a pattern. So in other words, as you're painting, you're gonna go like, okay, I got my pattern. And you find yourself doing the same pattern over and over again, then you get like this weird line, a little strip. To avoid that, just come in here, different directions, around now value wise I'm gonna get a little bit darker I'll do a little raw sienna yellow ochre scrub dub and even though I don't really need the burnt sienna at the burnt sienna on the corners over here and over there I'll add just a dot of burnt sienna just a little titch and it changes the color again a little bit so it looks like it's better blending than it really is and then here it's getting a little thin so like here if I did a line through it Barely see any paint move. That's because it's uh, too thin. So you want your paint kind of thick. If you go too thick, it's hard to blend. If you go too thin, it's hard to blend. So, oh, you got Goldilocks a lot of different ways. Uh, moisture of the paint, that's how I don't dip my brush in water. If you do to clean it or let it sit for a little bit, go back in with a paper towel and then do that. But once you get this pattern down and then go really light if you're having a problem blending, Go really light here. Then I need more paint. Ooh, that's still like quite a bit of paint. And this is a little bit thin here. Tap in a little more fresh white. Then after I'm done with this 
base coat, I'm gonna go in with the Turner style skies and what have you. And then, uh, which is really cool. So Turner uses like a palette knife. He starts off with a smooth glaze, and then he adds like a palette knife to it. We'll just use a business card again. So it's kind of like how to paint walls, but it's different. And once you get that pattern down, you can just relax. You can just like sleep, you can take a little nap, you can think about your weekend. Stumble, once you get that, oh, sorry about that, I forgot you're closer. My bad. All right, I was not being safe. My mask was off. I have people six feet away from me. Okay, then here, and if you have like patches, I'll show you, I'll make a mistake so you can see how to fix them. All right, here on this side, I'm gonna go a little bit darker as well. And then um, scrubbing that, more white. So it's kind of like going around and easing it out here. And I'll go ahead and keep this kind of dark on the sides. Then I gotta fix my mountain. Which is why we do the skies first. If you do your skies second, like I'm kind of doing here, and you got a mess you gotta fix. All right, so that's a base coat. That's kind of like almost done. Now what you wanna do is go through and look at your bad areas. So there's a bad area. Too thin is all like the only problem, really. And the brush has too much dark crap on it. So I'll take a towel, wipe it off, get it all nice and clean-ish without using water. Then I'll come back in with more pure white. So the thickness is important to be able to get a good blend. And just barely, barely blending it. So if you use like this barely blending it technique, I call it the barely blending technique, um, and a lot of paint. Then here, I'm gonna change color again. Maybe a little raw sienna. Was it too soon for that? I don't know. All right, so then I got that little fix. Now I'll look up here again, and right here is another bad section. So I'll just go pure white maybe, and lightly blend it. Ease that out. And then I don't want a little section here, so I'll like light, barely go out here, and I'll fade it out to blend into this section. Tap it a little more white. Boop, boop, boop. Barely blend. Is it out? Then I don't like that section either. Now we're just getting kind of nitpicky. And but you can actually leave this as your first coat and you could be done. Like right now, this is an A. Or the blend, overall value changes, dark to light. Um, looks pretty good, except I'm gonna use my magic burnt sienna, which doesn't work with blue, by the way. You want to do that, you have to go more of a uh, raw umber. So here, here's a burnt sienna. And I'll put that in there. And lightly scumble, multiple directions, and haze it out. Ooh, I like that little burnt sienna thing. Burnt sienna, that's a nice color. All right, so then I'll tap another little burnt sienna. Little dot, bring that over here a little bit. And I'll scrub this in. And you could let it dry. So if you have a hair dryer at home, we have one right there. Uh, if you have a hair dryer at home, in between blending, you could just take that and hair dry it for maybe like five minutes, and then it should be pretty dry. All right. Mm -hmm. And that's it. All right, base coat of that is done. And I'm gonna be showing you guys more about how to turn this into a William Turner sky. And then even these little sections here, they look okay, they look like clouds kind of. So if your patches are okay, you see how soft and blurry that is? That's okay. Oh, wait, one more second. I'll do a bad patch, I'll show you how to blend it. Okay, put a patch right there. Oh, shoot, that looks terrible. Whatever am I going to do? I know. I'll barely put any pressure on it. Wipe off the brush, set it down. Then I'll take that color and just super lightly ease it out into the other colors to get rid of that. So you can still see the outline of it, but it's hazy and it looks like a magical cloud. Ooh, it's a magic cloud. And the white's always a good way to do that. Okay, that's it. And as the end of round one of the William Turner Show.